Gone are the days where you needed to learn to code if you want to build advanced and full stack websites with both database and authentication and it would take you at least 6 months to be reasonably good at it. But now all you need to do is to just prompt and the AI agent will create the full stack website for you. You just explain all the features you want in plain English and with the press of a button the AI agent creates the website and even deploys the same for you. And now the AI agent that I'm about to show you in this video can even create a full stack website with both database and authentication in just a single prompt. I mean, let me show you what I'm talking about today. So let me quickly jump onto my computer screen. So this right here is deep agent and this is the AI agent that I've been talking about. And to access it, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and sign up for a new account and you land on this page right here. And now it says, welcome to deep agent. And Deep Agent is a highly advanced, powerful, general purpose agent designed to run and automate complex tasks. And now I'll click on this button called as check it out. Now in this video specifically, we are going to use Deep Agent to create a full stack website with both database and authentication. But the thing is, it is just part of what this AI agent can actually do. So as you can see, this is a full fledged AI agent capable of creating apps, documents and doing pretty much any task you throw at it. For example, you can create full stack apps. You can create short videos using the platform. You can create AI apps, MCPs and AI workflows. Deep Agent can help you do deep research, create PowerPoint, data analysis, browser use. I mean, there's a lot this Deep Agent platform can do. And in this video specifically, we'll be trying to create a full stack app and we'll try to give one prompt and let's see how far Deep Agent can things do. And first thing first, go ahead and click the first link in the description below. Head over to Deep Agent, sign up for a new account and you will land on this page right here. And now towards the center, you can find an input box and it says describe what you want to get done and be pretty detailed. So let's say you have an app idea or let's say you want to build a full stack website. Now all you got to do is to explain and describe what are the features you want within the app, what type of website you want. I mean, you just have to describe all of that in this input box right here and hit enter. So in this case, I want to create, let's say, a full stack website that allows people to short turn a URL and also create, let's say, a QR code basically a platform similar to bitly so that is basically the application that i want to build and now i also want to include user authentication and i also want to store all these links and every other details in a database as well okay so i'll start by giving a prompt first so this right here is the prompt i'll give to deep agent and it says create a fully functional website that allows users to shorten urls and generate qr codes for the same the website should support user authentication so users must sign up or log in to access the dashboard after logging in the users should be able to and it says enter a long url and receive a shortened version automatically generate a qr code for the shortened url view a list of all their previously shortened urls and qr codes copy the short link or download the qr code image delete any of their existing entries and we also mentioned that we need a clean and modern user interface with basic navigation home page uh, registration pages and login page user dashboard and now ensure all the urls are stored securely per user and not accessible by others the dashboard should also show the original url short url creation date and a button to copy or download so this is the detailed prompt i'll give to create my app that i want to build so basically you can say this is like a bitly clone that allows people to shorten a url and now i'll click on the send button right here and now if you want to you can even attach images for reference or other files for reference as well and now there you go so deep agent is asking us some questions before it start building the app that is one important thing and a cool thing that i found in deep agent so every time you give a prompt if the ai agent has any confusions or let's say some clarifications to make it will ask you all the information it needs so in this case it says custom short urls would you like users be able to create custom short urls like okay interesting one analytics do you want to track click analytics url expiration domain preferences so first of all i'll say give the users the option to create custom links in addition to automatic links and then the second one it is asking us do you want analytics yes i want to store analytics oops analytics and then url expiration no need of expiration feature yeah and last okay in addition and lastly we'll also say domain preference mm, no domain preference okay 
and these are all the inputs that we will give and i'll hit enter so basically the ai is asking us for some more inputs so that it can actually create the exact app that we are looking for so it says developing a url short on a web application with user authentication and now it is understanding the requirements so basically the ai agent will go through all the information like the initial prompt and all the responses that we gave and create a plan and then it will do some analysis and start building the app so it will take some time so i'll wait till it is done and i'll see you afterwards all right so there you go deep agent has started working on a project and it is actually creating a next.js based project and now it is writing all the code it is using prisma as the orm so it will set up you know database authentication api routes and everything is already taken care of so it will take some time so let's wait till it is done all right so there you go the ai is done creating the app and it says your comprehensive url shortener is complete okay and now if you want you can actually deploy it in a second but before that this right here is the basic landing page of the app it has created and now if i click on the sign in option right here hopefully it should take us to the sign in page there you go you have the option to enter the email and password and login and if this is your first time obviously we should see an option to sign up so here we have the sign up button and it takes us to the create account page and towards the top you will find an option called databases and if i click on that one I'll be able to find all the tables that we have within our database. So in this one, we have one called as account, then click session URL user verification token. So all of these are different, you know, uh, tables that we have. And the interesting thing is that if you're about, let's say, create an app using deep agent, you don't have to worry about authentication and a database provider. So normally if you're about, let's say, create an app, you will have to find an authentication provider. For example, let's say Clerk, Superbase, Firebase or something similar. And you also need a database provider like let's say Neon, Superbase, Convex or something similar. But in this case, Deep Agent itself will spin up one for you and you don't have to take care of any of that. Deep Agent got you covered. So here we have this database. And if you move over to this code section right here, you'll be able to find the code for your app. So if you want to access it, I mean, if you want to, you have, you can actually find all this code in here. And now let me go ahead and try to create an account. So I'll put my name in here email some random password and i'll click on this create account option and it says account created successfully and there you go here we are now logged into our dashboard and here we have an option called this shorten url the option to enter the original url and it gives us the option to create a custom short code if needed and i can shorten the url i can find the urls in here now this right here is a long url so a article from ibm's website so I'll copy that URL and paste the same in here. And now first of all, let's try to create a URL with the automatically generated shortcode. Title and description are optional. So maybe I'll say IBM article here. Yeah. And I'll click on this short turned URL button and it says short turned. And there you go. Here we have the short turned URL. And now the thing is, okay, you also see an option called as QR code and also a download button. And if I click on this download button, there you go. Here we have this one. So to make it fully functional the thing is i actually need to deploy it first so what i'll do is i'll head back and first of all deploy the app so that i can show you a full-fledged you know output and also we can make sure that it uses our actual deployment url instead of localhost and the thing is deploying an app created using deep agent is pretty simple and straightforward so all you gotta do is to click on this button towards the top called as deploy and now you have two options you can either deploy the same to your own let's say custom domain so if you already have a domain you can move over to this custom domain option and then click on this manage domains button right here go ahead and enter your domain name in there and do the verification and after that you'll be able to select the domain from here and deploy the same to your own custom domain but in this case i'll show you how we can uh, deploy it to a subdomain of abacus ai.app so in this case i'll put something like url .abacus -ai .app, but if you have a custom domain that would be the best option and you can connect that in here and now i'll click on this deploy option right here and now it says deployment successful your app will be available after a few minutes okay looks good and now the thing is if you head over to this link right here you'll be able to access this app i mean pretty much anyone in the internet can access this particular app that you created so let me quickly open it up so there you go url shortener.abacusai.app and the thing is we actually already created an account right so if i head back to the databases option right here if i select the user table and do a refresh there you go we can actually find the actual account that we used to sign up so i can now log go ahead and log into the exact same account in the deployed version so i'll click on the sign in button input my email the password sign in okay let's wait for it 
okay signed in successfully and there you go here we are now logged in right another thing is i actually want to go ahead and configure the app such that it actually uses a deployment url so all i gotta do is to go ahead and copy the url and now i'll head back to deep agent and i'll say our app deployment url is and i'll give the url i want the short term links to be based on this domain okay and i'll hit enter so basically right now we are seeing that localhost uh, thing so but we actually want to use this deployed you know version so i just went ahead and copied our app url like the deployed address and pasted it in here and i just pressed enter and now deep agent will make all the necessary changes another interesting thing is that once you have the initial version of the app ready you can then go ahead and give further prompts to add new features or make changes to the app and the ai agent will gladly do it for you and now it says updating url short owner to use specified domain so let's wait for it all right so our updated app is ready and i'll click on this option called as redeploy and redeploy our app again now i can open our app copy a link put it in here and this time around i'll use the custom short code and let's put ibm link and now i'll click on the short turn url option and there you go here we have the short turn url and now if i click on this button right here i'll be able to visit the same and now it redirects x to the actual article link and not just that if you click on this qr code option and click on the download button it will show you a qr code which you can scan and access the original link so you have options for that too and the interesting thing is that we also asked the ai to include analytics so every time someone clicks on that particular link it has to get updated and i believe we actually clicked on this url once so if i refresh it should now say one clicks there you go and now if i actually try to visit this link again there you go and now it should now get updated to two so let's see yeah, there you go two clicks so just like that we have our fully functional and working url short on a website just like bitly with user authentication database and everything is in place custom url generation and also qr code support and if i head back and if i head over to the database section right here and if i go to this let's say url section here we have all the links all the short term url qr code url the short code and pretty much everything is in here okay so that's it so if i go ahead and let's say https google.com custom one so let's say google google and google okay short on url there you go and now maybe i can copy this one head over to our website dot com slash google and there you go and if you don't want a custom one you can actually create i mean let the system generate one for you and this writer is the id and now if i visit that one it should take us to google.com as well so pretty much all the features that we asked for is indeed working and we can even find all the links within our project and also search for it and even find analytics data like how many people clicked on the same as well okay so that is how simple it is i know the cool thing here is that i just went ahead and started with a simple prompt so this right here was the initial prompt i give and i said that i want to create a url short on a website with the qr code functionality and i also explicitly mentioned to include authentication and database and with just single prompt that is this one single prompt we were able to create this full-fledged bitly kind of a clone website think about it and then we went ahead and deployed the same in just a single click and here we have a fully working version ready i know if you want to make let's say any changes to it let's say you want to add new features make some changes to the landing page or do pretty much anything you can take it up from here you simply go ahead and specify the changes that you want to make type all that in here click the send button and the ai will take care of it now the thing is that you don't have to take care of you know fiddling with a third party database and authentication provider deep agent will take care of all that so yeah that's how simple it is basically you can give a single prompt and turn that into a full stack website so that's the whole idea and if you do want to let's say create full stack websites like this using deep agent all you got to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to deep agent sign up for a new account and you can start using it right away and now as i mentioned earlier creating websites and apps is just part of what deep agent can actually do it can help you create short videos it can help you automate things it can help you you know connect with external mcp servers and create ai workflows that runs on a scheduled interval i mean there's a lot this platform can do so all i wanted to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to deep agent and explore it for yourself so in this video specifically we created a full stack bitly kind of a clone which will help us to shorten the url and also generate a qr code and it even has this analytics functionality so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one